water water next to air the most important substance is water water covers about 3/4 of earth's surface constituting the hydrosphere it is present in the form of oceans rivers lakes or even frozen snow at the north and south poles it comprises a large part of all plants and animal matter our body contains water to the extent of nearly 70% some of the fruits and vegetables contain water as much as 95% of their weight importance of water in everyday life for drinking we require water for drinking since 70% of our body comprises water we have to consume water to meet the loss of water by sweating etc it also keeps our skin supple in house for our daily chores like cooking cleaning washing bathing etc we require water in industries water is used in the processing and manufacturing of automobiles paints plastics chemicals fertilizers leather cement and fabrics etc in power plants hydroelectric and thermoelectric power plants require water for their functioning steel and iron industry require water plants and animals thus we see that for most of the human endeavors water is essential animals need water for satisfying their biological needs just like human beings plants require water for preparing their food by photosynthesis they also absorb nutrients from soil as solutions food prepared in the leaves is translocated as solution to different parts of the plant body transportation many goods and people are transported by different waterways recreation for our enjoyment water is very useful for us like lakes rivers and streams are used for different sports as boating swimming water polo and water park skiing etc sea water sea is a huge water body in which various rivers come and join all mineral salts brought by rivers reach the sea the content of sodium chloride or common salt is maximum resulting in salinity of sea water sea water has to be desalinated before use water is costly in gulf countries because of the cost of desalination but we are lucky that in our country water need not be desalinized well water and spring water well water water comes to earth surface as rain most of it flows on the surface of earth while a small amount percolates down till it reaches that strata of land which is made of impervious rocks now it either accumulates or starts flowing parallel to the layer of impervious rocks when we dig deep and reach the accumulated underground water we call it a well spring water the underground water flowing parallel to impervious rocks comes out as a spring where layers of soil above it are reduced spring at certain places the underground water exerts pressure and comes out through cracks on the earth's surface this water is called spring water both well and spring water are rich in dissolved mineral salts and are free from suspended impurities as this water percolates down it undergoes filtration while passing through layers of sand and gravel rain water rain water is considered the purest form of all naturally occurring water this is because it is formed by natural distillation 
of surface water by the heat of the sun. However, rain water contains some impurities. Gases like carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide emitted from exhaust of vehicles and industries get mixed with the air. Carbon dioxide dissolves to form a weak acid called carbonic acid. Such acid containing water causes erosion to rocks containing lime. Similarly, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide react with oxygen and water vapor and fall on earth in the form of acid rain. This damages crops, forests, buildings, and environment in general. Groundwater Groundwater is the water that is present beneath the earth's surface. Some amount of the surface water present in ponds, lakes, reservoirs and rivers percolates through the soil and collects above the non-porous rocks and forms groundwater. Rainwater is the main source of groundwater. Seeped water collects between the layers of hard rocks and is called aquifer. Groundwater comes out of the surface at some places to form natural springs. The level of water under the ground is known as the water table. Many people in cities and villages use groundwater through hand pumps and tube wells. Nearly the whole of rural population uses groundwater for all their needs.